Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and you, Cross Watcher, even you, yes. So uh, let's try again, shall we? Libra for the month of May. This message is going to be general in case you didn't see the other one. Um, it's general, it's not gonna resonate with everyone and that's okay. Um, if you resonate with me, or I resonate with you rather, you would like a personal reading with me, you can reach me at the links in the description box below. All of the information that you need for that, you'll find there. It's all done by donation and a donation is required. Okay, um, we should be able to touch this time, we should be able to touch on several groups of people. Um, yeah. Okay, so for some of you, you have a tower moment coming. All right, could be connecting with a Scorpio just being the energy of all right I almost said Gemini overlapping Gemini some of you okay Libra yeah for some of you okay the tower moment may be at work okay and I say that because some of you uh, may be losing a job or you may be having a change okay you may be um, having to like accept a demotion as in having to go to a different company and not of course when you go to a different company you've got to start back out on the bottom work your way up this sort of thing could be something like that but what I'm seeing here is that you're waiting on an opportunity that I don't know is necessarily coming and rightfully so you know it almost looks like you're waiting for someone else to pull you out of whatever financial bind you may have gotten in Libra and of course this is general and this is only going to be for some of you not everyone but I am seeing it's like no now it's time to pull yourself out um, and if you were doubting it don't because I do uh, see that you will have the means you will make the means you will make the means okay because you do have that that power and that energy to do so um, Libra so uh, do see some of you are waiting or and again cross watcher this could be you if you're waiting on a Libra to pull you out it's like mm, I don't know I mean I guess they could but uh, it's this very um, it's a very um, opportune time right like that um, it's a very opportune time to prove who you are or what you can do um, and I don't know it's just like I have something for me now and I've done this and and for some of you I'm hearing like okay so yeah you need to do this okay you're dealing with someone that is constantly throwing something in your face right you need to do this you need to do this not only to show them but to show you because some of you have been just beat down in a way it's like just fuck. can you say any more bad negative things yeah some of you are just needing to go on your own okay you're just needing to be in that nine of pentacles energy i can do this i can do this i will do this i don't need you right i can manifest anything i want and uh that has to do with letting go of a false sense of security okay it's that sort of you know you've got to spend money to make money and even if you don't if i have an arm full of shit and you try to hand me something how am i going to grab it with what I've already got an arm full of shit arms arms full of shit right so it's that right some of you are really really meditating heavily on your happiness and your divine path okay some of you really really want to travel or go somewhere um, to someone possibly or even just to a different spot period um, in order to get this could be a Pisces could also be Aquarius okay, of course you also have Scorpio out here but you, you have everything out here okay you have everything out here could be you with you Libra okay air and air you do have some flirty energy okay so I see someone here that is letting go of their fear uh, to slowly move toward someone or something from the past now again I say this all the time and I'm still gonna have some fucking retard in the comments that does not listen shit for brains yeah you heard me and yeah I mean every fucking word of it fuck you for the people that, that disagree with themselves it, yes you get on my damn nerves uh, I'm not saying you have to go to somebody from the past. I don't need you to be in the comments. I'm leaving the past in the past. I don't want that. I don't care. You are not the only fucking person watching this reading. <sighs> Furthermore, just because it's someone from your past doesn't mean it's a romantic partner 
from your past. This may be a person that doesn't even pop to mind when I say someone from the past. They may have held that insignificant and yet set oh so significant role in your life. Okay. Some people just be so you know I grew up on a ranch and and as I and I said saying this you get a card dealing with as above so below possible reconciliation okay with the ace of wands underneath it taking that leap taking that leap of faith that new passion okay that and you know what anyway I grew up on a branch and we used to, um, the, I don't know if they're albino horses, I don't know what you call them, but they're like really, really white horses. And you used to put these like blinder things on them, right? These like, if they have these nets, it's right, it's to protect their eyes, okay? So they don't, because they can get really damaged because they don't have like the, the, the pigment that protects them from the sun. So you have to put these like blinders on them um and as well as we had blinders for other horses for other reasons in any event it's like that's that's what some of these people they fucking come to these videos and that's what they have they have these like blinders on them. they can't hear they can't see they have no idea what's going on that they hear one word out of the whole video and they fucking run with it and write me a fucking paragraph okay i think i'm really pissed off about those people but i just went like really really <laughs> fuck you people then people then people, I think that had, that's been pent up for a minute. <laughs> I need to let that out, y'all, obviously. Um, so you have the um, emperor here mirroring the uh, the devil in reverse. Some of you dealing with an Aries, some of you a Capricorn. But overall, I see you taking back the lead of your life. So any addictions you had, any toxicity you had, any bad relationships you had, and definitely, definitely, definitely Libra. What I am definitely seeing for so, so many of you is this is a time for you, Libra, a death of your ego, taking control, and not even a complete death. Many of you have come to the understanding. You've come out of that new age woo-woo, and I, I, yeah, I don't know. That's what shit it is, what it is. Um, that new age like half ass truth right and it's like no you need the ego you can't just you can't be here without an ego the difference is the ruler are you the ruler of the ego or does the ego rule you are you possessed by your possessiveness and your possessions you know I don't know, but I feel like many of you, Libra, are, not, I want to say having an ego death, kind of, kind of, but I feel like you're coming to more of an understanding where it's like, you know, you need the ego, but it's that, it's that balance, and it's not letting that ego uh, control me and hold me back, okay? Some of you are putting an end to a lot of things, into the way that you communicate, into who you communicate with, okay? I'm, and, then, and again, if you watched the, um, the first reading, the other reading, um, however you get these, uh, the chariot came through for you while I was minding my own business, not even in the tarot, like an actual char a chariot in my vision, right? Um, so some of you are just like having to grow cold or maybe someone is growing cold to you and putting full stop Libra to um, either this relationship or this job or even this opportunity Libra because I mean, I'm, I'm getting Libra, uh, some of you are, are sleeping, don't sleep too long because they're saying, I'm gonna hang around for a while, but ultimately, I mean, I've got decisions to make too. Ultimately, I have to continue on my path and my purpose too, all right? So, I mean, I'm, I'm here until I'm not. That's what I'm hearing. I'm here until I'm not. And that is the reality of the situation. Day by day, uh, your options drop off, right? But that's okay because you have other options, right? You have other options that appear. Okay, nothing stays the same forever, but for those of you that have been sleeping on somebody, um, and and I don't mean sleeping around on somebody, I mean like sleeping, you know, yeah, I don't know what the fuck I mean, if you don't know well, um, you know, they're not going to be around forever, okay? They're not going to be around forever. How weird. How weird. Okay, Ten of Pentacles coming right up and out for you. Uh, it's so weird how that happened. Like, I don't even know how that happened. 
uh, Libra with the seven of Pentacles and the six of wands okay so be very very careful of where and who you're making your investment to especially large corporations right now Libra uh, something very similar came out um, I don't know that I conveyed it that way but yes and similar energy came out um, in Gemini's reading okay so then you have this eight of swords in the reverse position with the seven of wands okay and then the seven of cups once again in the reverse position with the devil also in the reverse position so Libra look at you taking your fucking power back I love it it's like you know what I don't have to be in this shit storm anymore I don't have to stand out here in the rain with no umbrella like I lost my fucking dog I don't even have a dog what have I been doing out here all this time like the gates open I'm going in the house I'm getting dry you know what or maybe I'm just gonna take off my clothes and fucking dance in the rain because that's what I feel like doing but what I'm not gonna do is sit here and sulk like I have nowhere else to go like I have nowhere else to be and like I have to be here in this depressed as state and there may be some competition and there's always going to be challenges but that's okay that's the reality of it but the reality also of it is I don't have to stay bound to this toxic shit anymore no one runs me but me and who is me whoever I choose to be okay I love it I love it with the Hierophant and the Knight of Pentacles uh, coming out. So some of you are very, very slow to, I'm getting share your wisdom, to share your wisdom because why Libra? For some of you, in order, the person that you wanna share your wisdom with, okay, the person that you wanna share your wisdom with is most likely at a distance now this does have to do with a shadow side that you've recently confronted you've gone to the dark side and they're saying and i've seen those dark places and in those spaces you know it wasn't so bad and hey i kind of like the dark Now you have this um, Queen of Swords energy here, which you've already gotten once, okay, with strength. Many of you um, could be connecting with a Leo. Leo continues to come out for you, Libra, continues to come out for you. All right, and then you have this King of Wands with this Knight of Cups. Okay, so Libra, what I'm seeing here for you is like, you know, I need to cut off the things that make me weak and stay in my strength and stay in my power, especially in regards to the choices that I make, especially in regards to the area of my life that is love. And what is love? I love all things. I love people. I love things. I love my passion. I love my projects. I love my gifts. I love what I do. Some of you are connecting with a true soulmate, twin flame, okay? And um, it's going to take the tower falling in order to reconnect you. That could be some of you reconcil reconciling and considering reconciling. And I do see that's coming for some of you, but you're very, very slow to move towards that. For whatever reason, I'm sure you have yours. But what I'm seeing here is like, I need to cut it off in order to get what I want. And I will get what I want. That trophy is mine. I've been here and it's written. I'm hearing and it is written. Okay, I am on my divine path. All right, I am on my divine path. Could be connecting with an Aquarius. But I will get there. I will heal. I will have this. Some of you have been in um, extreme meditative states. This came out in the last time and the last reading. But I'm I'm seeing you know, <laughs> and I'm hearing come play with me, come play with me. As I look at that, as I look at that um, that shadow, and some of you have finally faced it, or at least are in the beginning stages of facing it. And it's like, it's not that bad. In fact, you may be in danger of liking it a little too much. Come play with me. Funny that that would come through. As I have had to say in both the Libra and Gemini reading, don't play with me. <laughs> don't play with me. Okay. So for those of you that um, have really been going through it, as far as your heart has been broken, um, concerned here, you are going to be fine. You have a well-deserved reward coming, okay? 
you have choices again the star popping out for you page of swords with the page of pentacles popping out for you it's a whole new beginning when you and i'm seeing you cut off this capricorn energy which is most likely a karmic relationship coming there with that four of swords and the four of wands over here okay so and then i'm and, and with the uh ten the ten of cups with the ace of cups okay so i mean just beautiful beautiful new starts for those of you that want it again for those of you that want it you are getting the eight of pentacles here with the two of pentacles so you you have the opportunity to work on whatever it is you want some of you may be working on uh, going back to school some of you may be um, taking a new job some of you may be working on a new relationship some of you may be considering um, a new relationship now how for those of you that are in marriages um, for those of you that are in marriages I do not see you uh, coming out of that in the month of May I see you for those of you of course for those of you that are in marriages that actually want to leave um, I do see you um wanting to come out but i don't see it happening in may no i don't see it happening in may however there is some sort of an epiphany or some sort of something here that shines like you let something shine you let something and they're saying the cat's out of the bag and baby the cat's been out of the bag for a long time um but when i say that what will happen what how will they react and does it matter how they react because they're fake anyways I'm, I'm, I'm seeing like that's not even you in the mirror like you can't even look yourself in the mirror because you have no reflection your reflection is whatever the mood is for that day and that is the color what color is it what color is it the way the wind blows whatever the hell all that means what basically what i think it means is you're dealing with a really fake shady person who puts on a different face for whoever and whatever situation they may be in okay that's what i'm getting with that but you are getting the world with a page of wands so some of you are ready to go and and be free and be that free spirit with your kindred spirit i'm hearing with your kindred spirit how beautiful for you um when the when the horn sounds when the horn sounds and i make my final decision because i've been patient and I've been, I've been patient i've been patient enough and i want my freedom i want my freedom and i want my peace okay i want my peace because i'm willing to look there i'm willing to go there i see my reflection what I don't see is yours and what I don't see is my reflection in you anymore and I don't see your reflection in me and what are we doing we should be reflecting each other and if we're not doing that what are we doing well I don't know what are you doing I don't know I don't know Libra oh just come on out all right, certainty, certainty with seeker. Okay, yes, what are you seeking, Libra? You've been seeking for some time, baby. You have been seeking for some time, and I think I just said this in Gemini's reading. Whatever you seek, remember that it seeks you back. Okay, so be very certain you're, you're ready for that. Be very certain that you are seeking out exactly what you want, because if you don't find it, it's definitely gonna find you. One of you, you'll find it. Either it'll find you or you'll find it. You will cross paths if that is what you seek. So be damn certain it's what you want. And uh, what do you what do you what do you use dousing rods to find, right? Um, water. Water. So if you're seeking out a water sign, baby, make sure that's what you want. What is your interpretation of the fragmented pieces of your life, Libra? What is your interpretation of the fragmented pieces of your life? Okay. And um, yeah, facing your fears. Release the power of fear. And what is it? It's a fucking horse. Okay. So if you watched the last, if you watched the last reading, okay, competition, summon courage and self-confidence, right? So what is your interpretation of the fragmented pieces of your life? Whatever it is, face your fears and perhaps your interpretation um, will change now as you get I just saw this looking right up at me set your goals with leadership here in this lion as you continue to overlap with that that Leo lion sort of strength energy but yeah I'm seeing here like let your interpretation be what it is um, whatever it is and let the hand 
guide you. And yes, you've been guided. Yes, you've been guided. Some of you are asking, has something been guiding me? You damn right. Is that, was that it for me in a question? Was that, is that a rhetorical? What the fuck? Who am I talking to right now? I feel like, I feel like I'm talking to somebody who, I mean, there's probably going to be a lot of people that are, you know, fucking bleh, and I don't care. But I feel like the person who I'm really connecting with are people, the group that I'm connecting with are like, they know what's up. They're laughing. They're laughing. Like, yeah. Yeah. It's all good. Coming out. Okay, you are coming out in the reverse position, Libra, but that's okay. Let's see where it goes. Perhaps some injustice has been done to you. Perhaps um, you're just not ready to face truth or speak truth with the Hierophant here. Okay, in the Four of Wands in the reverse position. Again, um, for those of you that are in marriages, there's been quite a few um, injustices done. And, and at the very least, someone not speaking their truth about not wanting to be in the marriage anymore. Okay, could be, yeah, and I was going to say could be connecting with a Taurus, but then you have this um, Ten of Cups energy in the reverse position with the king of cups in the reverse position and so what i'm what i'm seeing here in the world it's like you know you want to go with the ace of cups underneath the world in the reverse position you know you want to go i just don't i'm not feeling that's going to be in may i'm truly not however your chariot is your chariot is in the upright position but the way that it fell it's moving backwards it's moving backwards um it's moving away from everything this is even to signify and to say here um and and this the Leo is your strength. Whoever is depending on this Leo, it's like it just keeps coming out in every fucking reading. Um, so it's like, and then there's the Hermit. Some of you connecting with uh, Virgo here, but definitely with exactly what I was about to say. It's like with that chariot going in the opposite direction. Um, it's like you go backwards as to, but, but here's the thing. You don't go backwards toward the person that you're with, right? You don't go backwards, like back into the toxic relationship. You do, but you don't. Because when you go backwards, the way that it falls here, you're actually going backwards. You're, you're going away from everyone, including, so there's the person that you're connecting with and the world out there and whatever would take you forward, right? For your, for your divine path and your divine life and your, your, your divine partners and your tribe and this and that, right? You go away from that. But who's also over here, right? Is the person that you're currently with that you don't want to be with, the person that you're questioning. As I say that, okay, Gemini, come through, uh, hit me up over there. Two Geminis, actually, male and female. Very interesting. Just message me. Two Geminis, male and female. Masculine and feminine, balance. Take it as you will. So uh, then you have the person here that you're connecting with. Um, I mean, sorry, that you are in a karmic relationship with or questioning being with, right? But you're still, you're even going, so you're retreating, right? You're retreating, you're reverting, you are, you are withdrawing. Okay, and maybe that's what you need to do to make your final decision or make your final move. I don't know, uh, and I almost said Gemini. I don't know Libra. Uh, you know better than anyone, but I just feel like um, just don't stay in that energy too much. Okay, with this Five of Wands coming out here and this Page of Swords, eventually, and the Temperance, eventually you're going to need to speak your truth. Eventually you're going to have to balance out with that Tower coming in and that Eight of Coins. Okay, so it's like immediately, here's the thing, here's the thing about confronting the situation and speaking your truth, right, and letting it balance. Does the Tower fall? Okay, fuck it. The Tower falls, right? The house is going to crumble. That sucks. Uh, right. Okay. Okay. But immediately immediately after your tower falls you walk towards something new what are you walking towards rebalancing two 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 right rebalancing rebalancing and realizing that you have the world in your hand and every opportunity that you ever needed in fact Libra when you decide to go forward not only does it immediately start to pick up as soon as that house falls, because here's the thing about the universe, especially when you're following your divine path, it doesn't break you down just to leave you broken. It breaks you down to build you back up, okay? It takes your house of straw, okay? And it builds you a house out of fucking steel, all right? It, it doesn't, it's not going to do you like that. Not if you're in your divine nature, not if you are of pure intentions and pure in your heart, okay? And more than that, with this magician card and this four of coins, so not only does it start to repair itself at an extremely rapid rate and start to um, bring you immediate balance, growth, and abundance, but you have so much in fact, you manifest so much in fact that you're able to turn it away, that you're able to just take it away. I don't feel like it right now. I have enough. 
I have plenty. I have so much. I have so much that I can give it away or turn it away or throw it away or do whatever I want with it and I can make more. Why? Because I have the answers. Because I am stepping into this high priestess energy. When my will turns, I will be happy and let the sun come out because I have been illuminated, because I have gotten to an enlightened state. How beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And I'm hearing beautiful boy. Who is, is that a Beatles song? It's a Beatles song. I fucking hate the Beatles. Where did that come from? Not me. <laughs> um, and I think it came out, oh no, that was for Gemini that it came out that they were, someone was worried about their actual son, their um, actual son. So that may be something for you there too. Let me see what I'm going to lead you out with. Libra. And you know, now that I'm, I'm looking, I'm like, I'm, I'm thinking like, what the fuck did that Beatles, it, if, if, if it even is the Beatles, it might not be, but I think it is. I don't know. Um, there's something, some of you with music, and I say that because that song is on a movie, uh, the man is a music teacher. The man is a music teacher and his son is deaf and I cannot think of what it's called. But so there's some of you that are trying to make your place with movies in the movie industry. Um, and there's some of you that are trying to make your place in the music industry. Okay. Whatever you want you can have. I mean, it's how much are you willing to work on it. And when you get there, you may find that it's not exactly what you want. And I say that because they're, they're telling me like, what, um, what are you willing to do to get it? What are you willing to do to get it? And for some of you, you truly, truly have raw, pure, pure, divine talent. And some of the places you may be wanting to go and some of the things that you may be wanting to do or the offers that you may be waiting on expect you to do things that would go completely against your divine nature. So it's like you may get there and, and um, realize your gifts were given to you for far greater purpose. Okay, so there's that. Um, and then also, um, I was seeing the beetle, right? The scarab, the, yeah, uh, which is a symbol of not only transformation, okay, but transmutation, okay? So knowing what to do with that. So many, so many choices for you, Libra, okay? So you need to be making the best choices. And by, um, uh, in order to do that, you follow your wisdom, you follow your intuition, Libra, okay? So for the month of May, um, I would say keep doing what you're doing, okay? Keep doing what you're doing. But also, I do see some of you um, need to take a more solid approach. Um, I'm, I'm feeling like someone is getting very agitated with you, continuing to be in this sort of hanged man energy. And as I look down, um, I have the the king of pentacles facing me with like or facing up with the libra with the justice the scales uh facing right at my face so it's like if you think you are the head or you're expected to be the head um and that is why you are staying in a position or a situation you can still take care of business while not um, being sub subject subjected to that um, abuse and and they're saying it is abuse it is abuse if you think it's not and you're trying to rationalize it in any sort of way they're saying that hateful speech that's absolutely that's absolutely abuse and you can't grow there okay you won't be allowed to grow there because of the negative intent that your partner holds okay uh, they refuse to heal and strengthen bonds um, with you however they do seem to be doing it outside of you and they aim to control they want to control you they want to control everything in a 
in a very, very um, domineering sort of e narcissistic type of way here. Okay, and you're just, you're on challenging times. But Libra, I must say, um, your energy overall is absolutely beautiful. Of course, you're going to have hiccups and, and, and choices. Who doesn't? That's what it's about. That's what we're doing here. Libra, I love you so, so much. And thank you so much for being here with me. And I will see you next time.